Hi ladies, thank you for joining me. So I've got a few bits and bobs. Don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm just going to wing it and hopefully it will turn out as pretty as I hope. So I'm just making a uh, vintage shabby Christmas card. And I thought, why not? Let's just do it together. So I'm going to start by using glue stick. As most of you know, I'm a messy crafter. It goes on and glue goes everywhere, glitter goes everywhere. But that's the fun of crafting. So I'm going to take this opportunity and thank you all for coming and joining me in my new group and I hope that you're making yourself at home. Like I said, you know, um, as the group admin, we, you know, we go and feedback on what you ladies want to see the group grow to be like. Um, so, you know, just hit me with anything and I'll consider it. Um, you know, like I say, we're, we're based shabby and vintage only because that's what my passion is, that's what, what my love is. Um, and it brings me great enjoyment seeing all of your your posts and makes within the group. Um, but if there's anything you'd like to see, you know, um, Lives are a little bit difficult for me, but I can, you know, I can and will do them from time to time. Um, you know, I have my craft desk set up in my corner of my living room, which is obviously hence the name Shabby Craft, my Shabby Craft Corner. Um, and I have got a family, so there is background noise most of the time. But my family also are very kind and realise, you know, that this is what I love doing. So um, my husband sat in his, his chair at the moment, being quiet, and giving me this time to craft with you guys. So, and I, what was it? I picked, um, picked this lace up, this lace pleat on eBay. Um, I think it was like five pounds. And <laughs> I'm terrible. Uh, as soon as I get lace and as soon as I get a pleeks, it goes on one project and it's never seen before. And I was looking through all my photos last night. I'm like, oh, so that's where that pleek went to or applique went to. And that's where these pearl embellishments went to. <laughs> I'm like, as soon as I get them, it goes. But that's enjoyment that we have. We, um, we use... We use our pretties so I'm gonna put that one on there like that and I'm gonna feel bad now because I'm gonna cover this up with a picture in a minute but I trust the process it will turn out very pretty and it'll be worth it this on paper and not card and I should have been more organised but we'll uh glue it down and cut it out.
So over here in the UK it's gone pretty darn cold and I do not do well with the cold at all. I hate winter. I go into hibernating bear mode or grouchy moody bear mode. So my crafting will keep me sane just throughout the winter. And then I can get my summer bikini on. I look like a beach whale in my in my pool in my garden. <laughs> right. Yes, this one. Um, where are we going? Where are we going? So, um, Hildegard sent me a shabby Christmas box for Christmas and I really do appreciate everything that she sent me and the lace here that I'm using at the moment is from her, her box. It's dangled a little bit, but not too much, so don't get in the way of the picture. Put that one there. Let's see. This is not going to work out or look like a right mess. We'll see. So I know it's very difficult to use pretty lace because it is expensive and you want, you know, you want to be able to create something that looks, looks pretty but you're always scared that you're going to mess it up. Okay, yep, you cut into the lace and it will never be the same but... The lace can always be ripped off projects and the amount of times oh, that I'll make something and um, because obviously, you know, I don't I don't sell. Well I do, but I don't, not as a business anyway. Um I end up having tons of crafts that I've made that I'll either gift or do swaps with. And the projects that I've used in my de design projects and things like that, that after, I don't know, four or five months of it being in a box and doing nothing, I'll go and rip all the lace off and reuse. Right, let's have a look here. And it's very easy to, to just tear it off and rip it off and start something else. So don't be scared. If you're, if you're new to, you know, using lace, it will look daunting using it all up, but... Half the time I look, when I'm crafting, like a child at playgroup in kindergarten, just having fun on my own, but I think that's okay, I think that'll do. So 
so uh, I know that's going to take a little while to dry so I'm going to be careful as I place it on I don't know whether to put it there let's have a play around with some other lace a minute let that dry a minute right so jump that one And I think this one, um, a few that I'm using at the moment, is from the Trinket Parlour. Emma over there is does some beautiful lace. And I will search what I'm searching for here a minute. Because I did have a few bits and bobs that I wanted to use. Where did I put that one to? Putting that away. Ah, right, so let's have a look here. And um, Madalena, Madalena sent me these in my birthday giveaway. Um, she's a lady that I do tea for as well as Shabby Art Boutique. Um, and Madalena's Etsy is uh, Creative Muse Digitals. Um, you'll see me put lots of you know links to Etsy and to Shabby Shabby Art Boutiques links to the shops. Um, but yeah, so she sent me some pretty appliques. if you're still running I did check to see my storage beforehand because I've learnt my lesson through that one when I've made something before and ran out of space <laughs> it's probably because I too, do too much talking Use this one here, yeah, like this. So, look, and this one is also from the Trinket Parlor. Now, my friend Terry. She sent me some brass plates and um, plates, yeah, and corn, corner bits. And I didn't know whether to use them on the card today. Yeah, I'm just going to have a look here. I was going to um, paint them white and put glitter on. I did um, a coat of like, it's supposed to be grey but it turned blue so I didn't like that look. But I'm going with it. I'm just going to go with it. I don't like it. I can always take them off later.
sometimes I can't stop myself and I will over decorate something but oh well Sometimes just the simplicity is does just look very just as pretty as an over decorated item. But um doing shabby and vintage makes and crafts. We tend to over decorate and just shove everything on. Do a mismatch and that's what makes it look shabby. I think I'm going to put that one there. to do the two or just the one and build the flowers up at the side there I'll just use that one and then do Just check and see what other embellishments I've got here. Get that one a little prettier. And I'm going to wait for everything to dry, but at the, when everything is dry, I will put this one along the back and have the dangles coming down. Or I'll try and find some pearl dangles and put on there, but I think that is my card made. So we've got a very shabby, vintage looking Christmas card. So I'm going to leave you there and uh, if you make any from you know, what I've just shown, please put it on the group and show me what you make. And uh, thanks for joining me. Love you girls. Bye.